Hi, Jason here from Dynamic Radiance. And I'm here to show you how to install Athena on your computer. What you need to install Athena is a Windows 7 or 10 computer containing 8 gigs of RAM and 5 gigs of storage space. You will need the USB flash drive containing the Athena install, the SQL Express install, and the DM series USB driver install. And lastly, you will need a USB A to B cable. Let's start installing Athena. First, plug in the USB drive. On the flash drive, navigate to the Athena folder. Go into the prerequisites folder and copy the SQL Express installer to your desktop. This could take some time. Once it's done copied, open up the SQL Express installer. Click on New Installation or Add Features to an existing installation. SQL will run an automated setup support test after it completes the license term. Accept the license terms after reading them over. Under the Feature Selection window, unselect all options. Then select Database Engine Services. Also select Management Tools Basic. Click Next when both are selected. Keep all the defaults in the Instance Configuration window. In the Server Configuration window, click the drop-down under the SQL Server Database Engine. Select NT Authority System. Click Next once it is selected. Under the Database Engine Configuration window, select Mixed Mode for the authentication mode. Enter a password. Verify that a user is in the Specify SQL Server Administrators window. If there is no user, add the current user. Click Next when completed. Click Next on the Error Reporting window. SQL will now begin to install. Press the Close button after you see the completion screen. Exit out of the SQL Server installation setting window to complete the SQL Server installation. Now we're going to install the DM Series USB driver. On the provided flash drive, navigate to the Athena folder. Now navigate to the prerequisites folder. Open the DM Series USB installer folder. Run the DM Series USB driver installation. Read over the end user license agreement. Once you finish reading over the end user's license agreement, agree to the license terms and conditions. Click install. 
click install on any device driver related pop-up windows. Click close to finish the setup. Now that SQL and the DM series USB driver is installed, we will install Athena. To get a copy of Athena software, send us a request using the link in the video description below. Back on the flash drive, open up the Athena folder. Run the Athena setup. Click Next to start the installation. Read over the end user license agreement and accept the terms. Click Next after you've accepted the term. Choose the default path to install Athena or change it if you want to. Click Next after you are ready. Finally, click Install to install Athena. Now that Athena is installed, click Finish. You are now ready to use Athena. Athena will ask you if you want to set up custom passwords. Click no if you want to accept the default passwords. For a file-based configuration, click database, then click advanced. In advanced, select the file-based radio button. Double click on the first instance for the available SQL Server. This will populate some of the fields below. Click Select Database to select a demo database. Open up DR Demo. Click Test Connection to see if the database is functioning. You should get a message saying that the database connection appears to function properly. Click OK. Finally, click Save as Default Connection. From here, you can create your new database. Select Database, New, and type in or accept the default to create a new database. Finally, click Save. You are now ready to add devices in Athena. And that's how you install Athena on your computer. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos from Dynamic Radiance.